Hey, this is Pastor Bungie Garrett, and I want to take this opportunity to present you with another word of encouragement. Well, in case you haven't heard already, Disney is continuing to reveal their spiritual allegiance with Satan, you know, after producing the new FX adult animation titled Little Demon. You know, according to IMDb, this new cartoon, which was created by a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company, well, it's centered around the story about a reluctant mother who, after being impregnated by the devil, gives birth to a daughter who turns out to be the Antichrist. And now they're they're just trying to live an ordinary life there in Delaware, you know, as they charm the audience into cheering for the Antichrist. That's right, this new cartoon, which includes demonic witchcraft, pagan rituals, gratuitous blood, severe gore, and graphic nudity, uh, it's actually turned the Antichrist into the hero while simultaneously making light of hell, as well as the dangers of the demonic realm. In this way, you know, D uh, Disney has effectively introduced their audience to a world of demons and witches and sorcery and, and the Antichrist. And, and, and while this cartoon isn't yet available on the Disney Channel, well, it's my guess that it's only a matter of time. You know, according to one group of concerned mothers, the kids who stumble upon this cartoon, uh, whether it's on FX or Hulu or wherever, uh, these kids are going to be inundated with secular worldviews that reflect the current culture. And not only that, but they're also going to be presented with the idea that witchcraft is actually a positive tool for fighting against evil. What's even worse is that those who are entertained by this show... Well, they're being led to believe that the biblical warnings about the Antichrist are nothing more than silly superstitions which ought to be ridiculed. You know, Aubrey Plaza, who is the actress that provides the voice for the mother of the main character, uh, it was during an interview when Plaza actually celebrated the paganism promoted in this profane production, and she did this by declaring, I love that we are normalizing paganism. Laura is a pagan. She's a witch. She's jacked. Yeah, that's right. Uh, in this cartoon, which is being produced by Disney, we find the normalization of paganism as the audience is encouraged to have sympathy for the devil and his daughter. Here's how one reviewer celebrates this new show, and I quote, It's likely you've never seen a man punch a hole in his own face before or heard the words, Let's go boil some babies while their heads are still soft. Wow, uh, this is the sort of sick and twisted entertainment that the Walt Disney Company is now producing. And while I have no doubt that they're going to attempt to include moral lessons from this satanic insanity, well, we can also be certain that this series is going to lead many to ridicule the reality that there is in fact coming a day when the Antichrist will, will rise up and lead the masses straight into the lake of fire. Uh, sadly, most people have fallen for one of Satan's most successful schemes. And just to be clear, the scheme I'm referring to is simply to convince people that there is no such thing as hell and, and there is no such thing as the devil. You know, just to make my case, I would uh, direct your attention back to 1968 when the Rolling Stones released their, their hit, which is titled Sympathy for the Devil. The release of this song immediately drew the attention of conservative critics who began to label the band agents of Lucifer, who were clearly serving Satan. And in the uproar, I, I believe that the devil decided to shift gears. And, and by 1971, well, that's when John Lennon then encouraged us with his new song, Imagine, to think about a different sort of reality. Here's how he put it in the lyrics of this hypnotic song. Lennon sings, Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us, only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. That's right, John Lennon led the world to start imagining a different reality where there's no such thing as heaven and no such thing as hell. And within the lyrics of the same song, he encourages his, his fans, you know, to, sit, to simply live for today. You know, in other words, never mind about tomorrow, never, never mind about uh, the future. Just eat, drink and be merry uh, because tomorrow we might die. So so just party today. Well, here we are about 50 years after the release of that song and now, only 51% of Americans believe that there is such a thing as hell, where physical suffering will continue for eternity. Yeah, just 51% just of Americans actually buy into this. And not only that, but another poll revealed that only 56% of us actually believe in the reality of Satan. That's right, the devil has actually duped more than 100 million Americans into imagining that there is no hell and there is no devil. 
As a result, you know, demons and the devil and the Antichrist, this is nothing more than just a big joke to many. And it's sad to say that these people are in for a rude awakening as reality comes crashing down around them in the very near future. Meanwhile, millions and millions of Americans have unwittingly embraced the doctrines of demons that, you know, are leading our nation further and further away from the Christian heritage of this country. And you better believe that the entertainment industry is doing everything they can to normalize the very things that, you know, resulted in the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. With that being the case, we would all do well to remember the warning that the Lord presented when he informed us about the enemy, the devil who has come to steal and to kill and to destroy. It's for this reason that the Apostle Peter encouraged us in, in his first epistle. It's First Peter chapter 5 where he says, Be sober and vigilant because our adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. That's right. The devil and his demons are doing everything they can to, to look for easy prey, the, the easy target that who are easily picked off. And it's for this reason that Peter encouraged us to resist him steadfast in the faith. Now, with this as the goal, I want to remind you about the encouragement that Paul presented in Ephesians chapter 6. It's there where he encouraged us to put on the whole armor of God so that we can take a stand against the schemes of Satan. And then after encouraging us to put on the spiritual armor of God, Paul reminds his readers that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. That's right, we, we aren't fighting against a physical enemy. No, instead, this is a spiritual war which must be fought with spiritual weapons. I like the way that Paul put it. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, it's there where he declares, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Christian, listen, the Lord has provided us with the weapons we need so that we can fight the good fight of faith. And just to be clear, I'm of, I'm of course referring to the sword of the Spirit, which of course is the Word of God. We've been given the Word of God with the, two, uh, the, 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 the true doctrines that we find in the Word. We've been given these doctrines so that we can take a stand against the schemes of Satan. Therefore, uh, if you want to truly protect your kids against the deceptive doctrines of demons that are being promoted by the, in, uh, the entertainment industry, well, we must provide our kids with the biblical doctrines of God's word so that they might embrace the gospel of grace, which is received by faith in Jesus Christ. And in this way, we will help them to fight the good fight of faith and all for the glory of God.